All right, guys, here we go. As you see, my Shimano got quite dirty from one of my last rural trips. Uh, this is a Shimano XTB 1400. Uh, it has a bait runner option. Um, it's a long cast, obviously longer spool. Uh, this one right here is import only. Uh, it's kind of hard to get, but um, yeah, I need to take care of it. You can see it got quite a bit of mud uh, stuff from the area that I was at. It's kind of unavoidable, but uh, here we go. I figured I'd go ahead and do a little video. I know there's hundreds of these out there of me cleaning it. Um, so let's get going. First, I'm just gonna spray it down, wipe it down. Uh, and what I'm using for that is some cleanse oil. Um, let's go ahead and take this portion off. Um, as we see, looks like something got in there a little bit. For the most part, it's not too bad in here. Got a little bit of muds and rocks and dirts. Try to leave some of the original grease up and through the shaft. Um, you can see that there's some up and through here. I'm gonna try to leave most of that alone. Grab some Q-tips for some of these harder to reach areas. Get some of that dirt out of there. Let's go ahead and take the handle off. I know some people just like to spin the other side, but I like to just manually take it off. Let's go ahead and do that. I like a clean workspace, get some of the dirt out of here. Obviously, some of these marks are not going to come off. Um, the area that I was in was a little rocky. I don't have a protection guard on my Shimano or anything like that. I know they have some that I've seen a couple of people use, but yeah, 
to go into some of these areas to get some of these bigger fish and a little bit of scratches and stuff come on your gear I got in through there. It's looking pretty good. I got a couple more really nasty spots where you can see leftover residue from my last trip. And we should be good to go to go with wiping down in a minute. I use mainly braid uh, as you can see up and through here where the braid contacts it's actually pretty clean on the roller um, rollers looking pretty good did pretty good <laughs> all right so it looks much better obviously a lot of scratches on it <clears throat> but for the most part um, Mud's been re removed. Everything's been cleaned. Still got scratches on quite a bit. Uh, we gotta get the handle. I'll get that in a moment. Inside that little handle portion. I'll deep, clean, deep, deep clean out of there. Um, and then I still have to get the reel. I mean, you can see it put in through there. But while we're doing that, before we do that, let's go ahead and Get our oiler. And put a little bit of oil around 
and the bolts, I already tightened them down just to make sure everything was the way they should be. Um, so don't really need to do that. Definitely don't want anything rusting from it getting a lot of moisture the other day, more than a typical fishing trip. That's good. Get a little bit in here. side yet I need to do where the bolt connects but I gotta clean that let's put this a little bit out the way I don't want to get dirt on that there's a lot in this handle Luckily the area that I was at, it's not really sandy, it's mostly, it was, it's kind of like a, last trip I was on, it was a bank, really rocky, has a lot of bedrock, um, and the bedrock is just full of mud from tide coming in and up, uh, the area floods pretty quick, so we were out there flooded up, didn't really have time to get my gear and move it all, but, I mean, we did it as quick as possible, but like I said, some stuff got wet where you normally don't want to get it completely soaked so just got to do this preventative maintenance make sure your stuff doesn't freeze up obviously there's probably better videos than mine but I mean I just do the best I can I've never had any problems I got some older gear in the garage that still runs perfectly fine just from doing simple stuff like this that I've seen others do and my gear all works great Still pulling in big monster fish. There we go. No more dirt in there. Alright, everything's greased up, clean. Let's oil the bolt here. And other than that, um, I don't normally, this one's relatively a newer reel. I'm not going to go ahead and unscrew it open and get inside. Um, and as you see, I mean, to put grease on, um, you'll already see that it still has quite a bit of grease in here on this portion. I mean, it's all pretty much new. I'm just going to go ahead and carefully, it'll take too, too long to do it on camera, but uh, I'm just going to clean this out carefully, leave most of the original grease. Um, as you see, it's really, it looks good. It's not really dirty. I mean, it got dirty from basically like a few trips. Most of the trips, my reels are not getting into a lot of uh, dirt like that. Um, but I'll clean that out. I'll put a little bit of grease in through here. 
uh, just to get that going. And um, I mean, if you look down there, the grease is pretty, looks pretty good. I mean, everything looks great. So I uh, got to get a little bit of dirt out of there, but that's pretty much all. I mean, I've already, um, I've already got a lot of the rust prevention stuff on most of the ball, uh, most of the joints where the reel connects um, on the handle, uh, empty all the bolts. So to make sure that the bolts don't get stuck inside. Um, I mean, overall, everything's spinning pretty good. So that's pretty much the basis of what I'm going to do for, for this cleaning. Just to get this one a light clean up and running. It's already had, it's pretty much a newer reel, so it doesn't need a deep clean. But, I mean, like I said, you see I got to get in through here. But, that's pretty much it. So, I'll keep uh, getting a little bit of the harder reach crevices. Um... And on some of my older reels, I'll be taking them apart, <clears throat> going in and re-greasing the gears, checking the gears out, making sure they're good to go. Uh, if I do one of those, I'll go ahead and post it up. Appreciate it.